Welcome to Skippy Low Looks at Hollywood. With us today are two lovely women. One is an entertainer who came to national attention on The Ed Sullivan Show. Her favorite song is Skylark, and she has an affinity for celery tonic. She's Julie Budd. Our other guest could be said to have given birth to the rash of Rocky and Rambo movies. Her zest for life would have made Patrick Dennis proud of her. She's Jacqueline Stallone. And now, here's your man of the half hour, Skip Below. Auntie Mame. I was just going to say. Auntie Mame. That Patrick Dennis. That's said. right. Auntie Mame, you are just the most talked about lady in Hollywood right now, days. Tell me. Yeah, what are they Kurt, saying? Well, come on, Kurt. Amelia Guest. Yes. You like her, don't you? I like her. I know you do. She's, she's a Sagittarius. What's there not to like about her? Ah, you're a double. I understand. Yes. She's a quadruple. <laughs> and I'm <laughs> a <triple>. she really? <laughs> yeah. You, I understand you're having fun right now, just traveling around, being Sylvester, not just being Sylvester Stallone's mother, because you were Sylvester Stallone's mother before Sylvester hit Yeah, this. I remind him that often. Cigarette girl? If it girl? me, there would be no Sylvester Stallone. That's right. If I decide I didn't want to be a mother, <laughs> Sylvester Stallone would just be a, what would he be? Uh -huh. Nothing. Tell me something. You're a cigarette girl. I, one of my I favorite was. plays was, but where? Uh, Sherman Billingsley. Ah, the store the club. The store club. What a New York. great place that was. To meet people and the fantasize it was. Tell me about that Eartha Kitt incident, or was it Josephine Baker incident? It was a Josephine oh, Baker Joshua incident. Oh, Joshua Gabor incident. Oh, oh, no, we'll keep that later. Was it oh, Joshua? Oh, no, I had my first incident with her at the store club. Oh, you did? She was with uh, New Year's Eve with uh, Ruberoso. Uh huh. And I, I think maybe she'd like to know while he was out with her and she thought she had it in. She had it made with him. Mm -hmm. As he was buying cigarettes for me, he was trying to date me at the same time. Also, Jean Tierney, when she had married Ollie Cassini, while she was on her honeymoon, he uh -huh. was under the guise of buying a pack of cigarettes. He wanted my phone number. I don't know, I seem to get attracted to married men. Well, look at you. You're a glamorous lady. Auntie Mame. I mean, really, Auntie you Mame. You think that was the oh, reason? Yeah, you must have been gorgeous. Showgirl. You were a showgirl, too. Correct. Cigarette girl. You had fun right. doing that. Did, did it pay a lot of money? Tips? Well, no, I stole a lot. Didn't pay <laughs> much at all. <laughs> did you really? Of yeah. course you do. Jaja. Getting back to Jaja. What's this about you and Jaja and Elizabeth Taylor's AIDS thing in Florida? Well, what do you think? What would you do if I mean, you were in that position? Well, what happened? I just Well, like, no. very simple. I went to uh, the Fontainebleau. Uh -huh. I borrowed a dress. My girlfriend's... Um, beautiful gown she just had made for $15,000, Tony Chase. Mm. And I wanted my boyfriend to introduce me to Jaja. I right. really didn't give a shit about her, right. frankly. I just wanted to see who had the most wrinkles since I hadn't seen her in <laughs> 90 years. So when he took me up to her and introduced me, uh -huh. uh, uh, she looked at my dress and said that it was a markdown. She saw it in the store uh -huh. on Rodeo Drive. It was a mark. I said, no, this is a Tony Chase, my girlfriend, Ronnie Britt, loaned it to me uh -huh. for $15,000. She lets this big screech, don't tell me, I know a markdown dress, and it looks awful. Well, I was very nice. I didn't know what to uh -huh. do. I really wanted to slug her, but she looked like she'd been wrapped up in about 20 pounds of saran wrap for the day. For I'm going to give you a secret. I'm going to give you what? a secret. I hear that Jaja buys her dresses and off the rack, some of them, and does it and puts labels. Do you think so? Yes, my darling, I heard that. She puts certain well, labels. Well, pays for her clothes? Well, her men. What men? What? Well, she's had a lot of men in her life. She's married right so now. So have I, but I bought my own clothes. You don't think she buys her own clothes? Uh, I don't think the men buy them. I think she gets them where I get them from my girlfriend's closet. So what are you going to do about Jaja? I understand you're uh, very upset about that. You I hired Ellis Rubin. I want a, a public apology. Ah, uh, you do? Yes, why not? Well, you see what she gave her public apology. She what said, she Well, say? first, she's, I can't even read yeah, it. I need my glasses. Yeah, go ahead. What does this moron say? That's in Florida. Let yeah. Me, let, go ahead. She just said what? She said that she'd never met me, wouldn't know whether I was blonde, brunette, or redhead. Uh-huh. And that she was, a, I like this, an ambassadress at 15 years old, and her, she married an ambassador. How old was he? Uh-huh. I don't How, know. Must have been 100. You can't be an ambassador until you look 60, 70 years old. Uh -huh. And what nice mother would allow a 15-year-old girl to run over the man that age, right? Uh -huh. What girl's so desperate who'd take him in the first place? Her. Jacqueline right? Stallone, tell me something. Or, or else she must have worked at the ambassador hotel as a bell clerk. I don't know. You're really angry about it, though. You really uh, want that apology from her. 
I'll take, I, mean, I will not sit in the same I'm room with her. You're not? No, I won't. Oh, I see. Well, let's forget about Jaja for a moment, and I want to get back with your fitness. You are in excellent Where? condition. Look at this. Isn't that nice? No, but you are. You, Ch <laughs> Stallone, I mean, Jacqueline Stallone, I mean, you work out. You, you still work out. You, had, right. you were the first lady with fitness Correct, I was. doing uh, clubs in Washington? Well, I was on the stage, but I mean, that wasn't really fitness. No, but you opened a club in Washington. I opened a uh, gymnasium. I taught weightlifting. Ah. I was a professional weightlifter. Uh -huh. I taught weightlifting to women. I couldn't even get a woman to lift a two-pound barbell. And wrestling? And uh, uh, weightlifting, oh, I physical see. fitness. Okay. So uh -huh. the only way I could attract business or stay in business was to make a co-ed. Uh -huh. So all the male wrestlers and boxers and weightlifters were really unemployed truck drivers in those days. And all the women that came to my gym were just idle, rich housewives. Mm -hmm. So it was a very good meeting. That's how I got it off the ground, really. I guess I can put my skirt two sons, on my knees Two sons, now. one daughter. Yes. Tell me. Sylvester and Jack. Uh, uh, Frankie. Frankie. Frankie started Correct. singing in Philadelphia. Correct. Wonderful bands. Philadelphia is a great Correct. singing place. Tell me about... That's about all, isn't it? What? About sing uh, Philadelphia? So, no, it's a great town. What else has got to offer? Come on. Philadelphia is a good town. For what? Lots, I don't know. It's just I like the people back east there. They uh, have they have heart. They're wonderful. They're just uh, nice Italians and Jews there. They're wonderful. It's a lot of fun to be there. Tell me something. Frankie had big bands there. Yes, in he Philadelphia? did. Was it? He was doing very well in Philadelphia. He was doing. Why did Frankie didn't go on? Is I mean, what happened? Why did he just got into acting? I think he's no, he did not want to act. Frankie. Uh, owned a big band. He supported the whole band. He carried the whole band for years and years. Right. And then eventually I told him I was going to cut his allowance because it got so that suddenly I was supporting all these bands and all these uh, uh, I see. unemployed musicians. Yeah. I told him I couldn't afford it anymore. He had uh -huh. to go solo, I which see. is the best thing he did. There's a singer next to you is Julie Budd, one of I the know. finest singers in America. Thank you. Good singer. Thank you. Range. My, what a range you have, Julie. Thank you. You just did the Easter thing. Just in town. The Easter Seal Telephone. Now, yeah. where have you been working, Julie? But you know, I've been all over. You've been constantly <laughs> where you work with the best, Bill Crosby. My God, I've been very Milton lucky. Burke. I've been very lucky. Yeah. You have been thirteen years old. Catskills. In the Catskills, yeah. Did you see her in the Catskills when she was? I young? remember Julie. Oh, you? I'm dying to hear her sing oh. in a minute. Oh, in a minute, yes. But tell me, Julie, twelve, thirteen. Who discovered you up there, the Catskills? Herb Bernstein discovered me. Uh -huh. Actually, I discovered Herbie. You he did. didn't want to have anything to do with me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I sang in this talent show when I was 12 years old yeah. up at the Catskill Mountains. Right. And I found this arranger by the name of Herb Bernstein. And I found out that he was looking for singers to cut a demonstration record. I said, oh, please cut a record on me, Mr. Bernstein. Please, please, <laughs> yeah. please. Uh -huh. He didn't want to have anything to do with me. Uh -huh. He said, I won't, I won't deal with kids that sing at weddings and bar mitzvahs. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then Persistence he... is a great thing. Ed Sullivan first, or Merv? Merv, Merv, Merv always Merv. Merv. Merv's been a first in my life for has, everything. He has been. You've been, he's been a, a great friend, uh -huh. and he's a very, very a terrific man. 10, 13, 14, 15 times. I mean, Julie, oh, but you've been. Hundreds you've been, of times. Hundreds of times. Merv shows. I remember Merv was in the Little Theater and the uh -huh. Fourth Theater in New York. Yes. And then he used to travel around the country to L.A., and then uh -huh. he'd go to Vegas, and you know, uh -huh. they would do the show right, all over right. the place. And he would take me, and then he came out here. How was your first evening? On television, with doing the Merv Griffith show at 13. What well, song I was, 12. was it? Oh, 12? I was 12. What song was it, and how was your? Favorite? Well, Merv picked the tune. Oh, he did. He, Merv, sure. I used to have Merv pick a lot of the tunes. Really? Sure. Well, Merv has great musical taste, and uh -huh. he has great experience. I was a little kid. What did I know? Uh -huh. <laughs> I didn't know anything. Studied acting, Julie. Uh, after I was in the business in for In the a business while. after a while. Working with Jimmy Durante. Did you know Jimmy Durante? Yes, Jim I dated him. You did? I certainly you did. dated you Durante? Jimmy I fixed Durante? him up with a woman, Marge, whom we later married. Uh-huh. I like her. She's a lot of fun, she Marge. Is. She is a lot of fun. Jimmy Durante, tell me about working. She was a cigarette girl. Yeah, Jimmy she was Durante a cigarette girl, was a nice right? man. Jimmy Durante had a lot of heart. Yes. Uh -huh. He had a good nature. He was very, very even in his disposition. No matter what was going on, Durante, you know. The place could be falling apart. He was right. even, you know. Julie Budd has worked with the Giants. I mean, old Giants entertainers. I'm really like the last one in my generation you really to have worked are. with the Sinatras and the, and the Danny Thomases and the Bob Hopes right. and the Jimmy Durantes. And, and Crosbys. Yeah. Sure, yeah. sure. Great. Because, you know, most people in my generation don't know about that part right. of the industry. And it's a, great, it's a great teacher, and they were great teachers. Each one of them teach you something else. 
I know, Julie. Tell me something, that movie you did with... Uh, Bill Cosby and Elliot Gould. Uh-huh. Yeah. Elliot Gould. And he's a nice man. Streisand. Well, they were married. That's right. They? Isn't right. that funny? Well, Why? we're all from New York. It's like New York was this sort of melting pot for all Are you from Brooklyn people. or Manhattan? Well, I live in Manhattan now, but um, uh -huh. I was born in Brooklyn. I see. You're from Washington. Correct. Washington, D.C. Correct. Grew up there. Left Born there, raised yeah. there, left home there. What did Sylvester, how did Sylvester get into the business? What in the movie his, business? Yes, in the movie business. Well, after going to two colleges, <coughs> he came home, decided to do nothing but, I guess, two colleges. loaf around for the See, rest of his life. See, people think Sylvester is... <laughs> no, he's very but he's bright. he's charming. You have to be very charming. bright to make it in this business. Yes. Well, he has it's a high business. IQ. He does, he really does. 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 And Frankie, too. They're both. Frankie is very bright. Yeah. See, Rocky, after... But there was a wonderful movie I loved, is the... Uh, Brooklyn Wabash or something? Lords of Flatbush. Lords of Flatbush. What That's a movie. That's the way life was in those days. Pardon me? That's the way life was in those days. I love that movie. I did too. Did you see it? I saw Lords of Flatbush. That was a wonderful sure. movie. I thought yeah. it was great. I think to make it in this business the way your son has, has made it and the way, you know, Frankie right. has sustained, uh, I think you have to be very bright. I think you have to have a very, very clear vision about who you are and what you want. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I think you have to have a very, very strong inner self. And look who he gets it from. So His mom. No, truly, it's true. <laughs> Most people don't know what they want. That's right. They're not prepared to pay the price. That's right. And he was very they don't, do they? That's but you cool. are in astrology. You read palm. She did yeah. my palm the other night. Do you, Jacqueline? She's an I know, Julie. A true, true an astrologer. Oh, she look at those great. double love really, lines. I'm a Gemini, triple I never Gemini. Saw, I and never saw hands like this in my life. Really? Me really? Jacqueline, what but makes his hand special? Tell me. He's yeah. got two love lines, two heart lines, here and here. Have you ever seen it in your life? No. <laughs> well, I triple Gemini, either. darling. Look at you. It has nothing to do with being Gemini. No, it doesn't, say. really? It has to do a lifestyle, a certain amount of agony you went through, a lot of pain. Did I go through pain? Yes, you I had probably did. I hands. was all over the world traveling, did a lot of things, yes. Right. Julie, astrologer, just look at her hands for a minute. Oh, just come on, look at these what two little hands. Your birthday? <laughs> What's your birthday, Julie? May 7th. Ah, she's Taurus. a Taurus. I love Taurus. Yes. Now, what am Very I supposed artistic. to say? She's got a boyfriend in the back. What am I going to say about her, for Christ's sake? Do you have a boyfriend, too? Right now? All right, I'll, I'll, say the things, tell. I'll tell you the things he's dying to hear. I know he's listening. Very loyal. <laughs> Very sensitive. <laughs> Loves to cook, loves to pamper. No, you don't have that kind of hand at all, incidentally. You're very loyal and very lovable, but highly independent. This line here indicates that you left home at a very early age on your own and have always she been did. independent. That's right. That's true. Really independent, uh -huh. to the point of almost being ridiculous. <laughs> My parents think so. I mean, really. Are you very close with your parents? Yeah, but they think I'm ridiculous. Like, yes. She's got it down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she, she but knows. But the impulsiveness? I wonder uh -huh. how you survive. Well, she has a strong, stiff thumb. That's what made her survive. You said I have that, too, the strong, Not stiff Not quite like this no? one. Look I at this see. girl. I see, I see. Uh -huh. I mean, yours she's is flexible. She's determined. determined. You don't have the determination she does. Oh, I see. You have the flexibility. She has determination. There's a difference, difference. between I the see. two. Mm -hmm. I mean, this hand, this thumb guides her, her willpower and her logic. Yes. She's, she knows exactly what she wants. So she doesn't yield too easy. Uh-huh. Unbelievable. That's Tell me something, Jacqueline. What? Now, Julie, am I supposed to tell you how many marriages you've had? No, yeah, tell me how many marriages you've had. Oh, come on, tell uh, me. You want to get rid of this guy in the back room? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Huh? Uh, I got to know. She'll about tell me life. later. You'll I'll, tell, I'll me tell me later. I'll tell you later. <laughs> what is Sylvester's <laughs> sign? What is Sylvester's sign? Cancer. Oh, he's a Cancer. And Frank? Frank's a Leo. Ah. And I have a daughter, Taurus. She's a mystery writer. Child's stories. Mystery she's stories. gorgeous. Is Did she you really? see her picture? Yeah. She looks just like Jacqueline. She, well, she, I, li she, I like people to think it is me there. It could be you. Tell me, it is she, she a writer? Yes. She's a doing children's story. uh, stories? She has under different names. She's very really? successful. Is she really? How interesting. She I doesn't know. want to be an actress. Do you ever want to be an actress? I mean, you must have been uh, offered a lot of parts. Not really, believe it or not. I love musical comedy. I like talking. I never wanted to be an act movie star, per se. Uh -huh. It's not challenging enough. Uh -huh. I know it may sound like bad apples, but if I yeah. wanted to be an actress, believe me, I'd be an actress. Uh -huh. If I could put up with three rotten husbands, I could be a movie star. <laughs> I can put up with anything. Right, right. If you right? put up with three rotten husbands, oh. you could be a great actress. Absolutely. <laughs> I had to be an actress to put exactly. up with them. I hated them. Shirley, <laughs> tell me about the Easter thing you just did. Oh, that's... Well, you know, they're wonderful people to uh -huh. work with. And uh -huh. I really liked working with Pat Boone. Uh 
uh -huh. a nice man. Uh -huh. And Does they he still really... wear white shoes? I'll tell you, whatever this guy wears, I should uh -huh. find out what it is because he looks great. Yeah? What oh, song yeah. did you do on the show? I loved it. We have a clip from that show. I did We've Got Tonight. Uh, can we play that clip? Do you have it here? I have it. Okay, let me I'll just show it. a little bit. Okay. Yeah? Okay, good. Well, let's play the clip. Julie, that was beautiful. Thank Wasn't you. that great? Mm -hmm. God, what a range. Well, you know. What is your range? Oh, God, about it's, three and a half octaves, four it's octaves. It's amazing. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You know something? Broadway. I'd love to do a great Broadway show. You should. I would love to. What? Why? Why, Judy? There's not the material know. out there? I don't or know. What? I was up for a Vita, and I was up for all types of shows, mm -hmm. and I always come real close, and they always call somebody else. I don't know what it is. I, what do you think that's, that's a, see, I don't know, there's a certain thing. I think thing. timing has a lot to the do timing, with things. What's meant to be? Her astrology, she's going to make it nice from here and in as a Taurus. She, 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 next two years really? are the best years of your life. She's got a great range. Where are you going to be singing nowadays? No. Well, I'm going to be all over the place. I'm going to be doing some concerts. I'm going to come into L.A., I think, uh -huh. in the fall and do uh -huh. a show. Uh -huh. I'm going to do one in New York. Uh -huh. And we're planning to take about six major cities and do concerts in each one of them. You enjoy the theater and concerts. And I like doing that. I, I like to settle down and do a, a series. Julie? This is what I like. What <laughs> oh, see, I knew, I, it. Like, I knew it. How did I you knew know that? It. I just knew it. That's why you wanted. Everybody wants to come to California and settle down. I like the camera. I like this life. Okay. I I really do. And don't forget, I was raised doing this because right. when I was a little kid, they wouldn't let me do clubs because right. of the liquor thing. <gasps> I had to wait, Did so really? they put me right on television uh -huh. right away. Uh -huh. So I was raised in the studio, right? And boy, I like it, I really do. Acting, let's get into it. That's Julie. Right. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's you're a very talented girl. Thank you. You're Thank studying you. acting now at all? Yeah, I've been with several different teachers, uh -huh. and uh, I've been studying since I'm about 15. Not comedy. I think you would be wonderful doing comedy. I you don't think know why. So? What do you think, Jacqueline? She has that marvelous quality about Mischievous. her. Mischievous. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. Yes. Comedy. Yes. Yes. Yes, she would be. She would be. I understand that you would like to do a column or or even a, a talk show sometime. Would you be? Well, that's where I'm more comfortable know, gossiping. A gossiping because you know, there's no it. little Ella Parson nowadays. No, I think, I think that I'm her former. I think I was Llewellyn in my past karma. Uh huh. Tell me the dirt of Hollywood. Do you know Such any good what? dirt it right now? It seems the latest I'm dirt is in my own family. You know, I'm not going to tell you. I know. <laughs> no, you're right. It seems that we have the dirtiest laundry in town. But you're very close, the family. Family very is very so. close. You and uh, Stallone, uh, Sylvester, J yes. Frankie, and Tony. Correct. All we speak to each other like three or four times a day. About and what? And the first gossip. What, what else? My uh, family's like that. Too. Is it really? Oh, we yeah. talk about yeah. vitamins, mm -hmm. gossip, the latest exercise, and who's doing what to who and when and where and how. I'd say he takes a lot of vitamins, Frank. And Frankie told me. They're cutting down on Oh, are they? Yes. Tell me. You used to take 100 a day. Does Frankie have a girl? I, Does there's Frankie so many girl? girls, yes. Uh, does he Frankie one? goes, no. He goes, changes girls about every two weeks. He does. Sylvester every two hours. No, Sylvester it is so. very much with Cornelia. I think he's going to marry. Oh, is I shouldn't he, have said that. Get, My God, if Cornelia hears this that, program. Though, is he, is he going to get married? Is he planning to marry Cornelia? 
Who's playing him, Mary? I don't think he knows what he wants. You know, he's lost millions of dollars giving to different wives. You know, all these wives. You know, that first wife of his, right. what's her name? Sasha. Uh, Sasha. My God, she's just keep milking him and dry. This lady, doesn't she ever give up? No. I mean, why? This lady is just constantly... She has nothing else to do with her spare time all day. What is she going to do for 28 hours a day? Uh-huh. You know, but Sue, the idea of going out and working, doing something creative... Does that upset that you of, as a mother? Yes, it does. Because Obviously, it does. You read about it all the time. No, I don't, because I don't read gossip papers, and I really don't. You don't? No. no. Looking back over your life, and would you do it the same way as you would do now? Like, say, if you weren't even what would I Sylvester eliminate? Stallone's mother, because you have your own personality. What would you, I do different? I, I won't tell you the truth. Yeah. Uh, I wish I'd been born 20 years later. Then I'd have had all my children, and I would never have married. You wouldn't? I like Vera Fawcett's lifestyle. I think she has the right idea. Not many people will go along with that theory, but uh, I'd rather have kept the fathers of the children as boyfriends. I'd get uh -huh. more out of them. This way I got nothing out of them but right. aggravation. Right. I know they'd have been over, taken us out to dinner, bought us presents. I got none of that. Mm -hmm. I would definitely have never married again. You wouldn't? No. Sylvester said if he could figure some way to have ten children without getting married, they were all his own, he'd do the same. I think Frankie would, too. Mm -hmm. Your, your two boys are very sensitive, very caring, very nice boys. I hope I, so. I met Frankie. I understand that Sylvester is a very tender, understanding, very intelligent man. A lot of people think he's the, the. They really don't no, he's know. Not he's thug. not. No, he's you not. educated your boys. Well, they went to college, if uh -huh. you call that education. And he wrote the... What gave him the idea to write Rocky? He was mad. It's a story of his own life. Uh, he mad. thought he'd make it in the movies, and every door crashed in his face. I mean, he didn't have the skin for it, so he went home one night and wrote the story in three days. Mm -hmm. It was his own personal feelings. You'd be surprised in, when you're in a moment of rage yes. how creative. In the moment of danger, where do you get your uh, right. strength and energy? Right, right. He got his out of rage, and it sold. Julie, that's what you got to do with the Broadway book. The get rage with those Broadway people. I think people get most resourceful when they think they have nothing left. Well, what uh -huh. if you got to lose? Yeah. Exactly. I really do think that happens with people. I think that we've all come to a point in our lives at times when we were very, very disappointed, when no one would support right. us, when no one would stand uh -huh. by us. And we really had to dig deep down to our own resource. Mm -hmm. You find amazing things about yourself. Julie, tell me something. Broadway. England has invaded Broadway for years. They really have. I mean, let's do something. I mean, don't you think? I'm a little upset about that. I really am. You would really like to see me in a Broadway show. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Because you have the talent. You have what it takes for me. Well, You're I'm, typical. I, I, I like to see, when I go to a Broadway show, I want to see a personality. I want to see, I don't want to see course line with a bunch of ensemble so people. So you're tired of seeing the ensemble. You That's like to what see I'm, an individual. Right. right. And I want to see a star. Yeah. Like, or, you know, it's interesting because that doesn't seem to be the rage right no. now. No, but it's, we... It's technology right now on Broadway, and it's... Um, it um, upsets me. Um, extravaganzas right. are, 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 the, are the big thing right yes, now of on Broadway. Um, I think every generation goes through its phases, and I think people will want to hum that memorable mm. score. There aren't that many memorable scores Phantom out there Phantom of the either. Opera, no, let's face there aren't it, any, millions are there? and no. millions. No, there aren't. Millions no. and millions of people. I mean, millions of you know, dollars behind that. We had West Side Story in Oklahoma, and my fair lady, you went out humming the entire score. Exactly. I mean, it was unbelievable. Exactly. Right now, you're lucky if you get one tune out of a show. Phantom, one tune, period. Yeah. That's all you're getting, really, out of that show. And you're lucky because they if keep you get running. that. You know? Yes, yes, yes. But it's it's kind of sad. Did you see the show, Phantom? I want to see Phantom. A friend of mine is holding tickets in New York for Phantom. Uh -huh. Did you so see it? Oh, I'd love to. Did you see Phantom? Did no, you see no, 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 no. But a friend of mine saw it in England and said it was different than it was here. Uh -huh. And I don't know why. It's a lot of the same people, but, you know, he told me that. I just don't understand why, Julie, but I want for the young singers out there. Right. You know, you grew up in the business as a nightclub performer. Yeah. And the you business know. has changed a lot. Yes. And you have to change with yes, the business. Oh, oh yes. I harder so. today. I'm going to take off my earrings. They're making me nuts. Just. Um, <laughs> here, you guys. You're going to have my That's earrings. That's right. Um, I think that the business has changed a lot. Oh, when yeah. I first came into the business, the singer, the individual personality was, was the focus. focus. a and R men at companies were picking yes. songs. Yes. They were helping groom you. They don't do that anymore. It's become a very independent business. You bring your masters to them, and they either buy a finished product mm -hmm. or they don't. But they're uh. not out there discovering anyone anymore. Yes, yes. You're selling yourself in a much more independent uh -huh. way right now. Mm -hmm. And um, 
And then groups came in and individual writers came in. You know, singers could depend on A&R men to find the material. Right, of course. You can't do that anymore. You either have to write or be lucky enough to have a friend that writes that gives mm -hmm. you great material. Uh -huh. Um, just so much in the business has changed, and you have to be flexible and change with the business if you want to stay in. What would you tell the young singers, Julie? Like, uh, you were like 12 years old. I no. was very lucky. You know, there's Skipping. some 12 year old girls. Yeah, you were. I really was. I Cat skills, you know. Well, I also, meant, I came the... into the business when there was a lot of variety television, when people like Merv Griffin would take a chance with uh -huh, me. Uh -huh. You know, I, was, I say you could be talented, talented, but someone, you know, you got to have a little luck, and someone has to be gracious like Merv was to me. Uh -huh. and, and I'll always be grateful that people took a shot. Liberace was kind to you, too. Liberace was my dear friend for mm -hmm. 17 years. 17 years. He was a nice man. Boy, was he yeah, You knew him very well, very well, Did you know Lee? Yeah, of yes. course. He knew him very well. Wasn't he great? Yes. Absolutely. What a beautiful human being. Yes. Do you, do you live here in, in California? I live in California. You do now. live in California. You keep a place uh, in uh, yeah. New York. In here. And, and, and now. You're by coast. Oh, listen, I'm in a plane all the time. Oh, look oh, at this look photo. Look at this. Look do at this like photo. <laughs> I love it. It's uh, her on the motorcycle. Isn't she great? I love, I love it. Is that silly? I but that's love it. true. That is, that is wonderful. Great. That is great. When was this taken? Just recent? A few months ago. Just a few months. House? Is that your no, that's Sylvester's house. Oh. Does, does Sylvester have fun in Israel? Did he? Uh, yes. That's one of the motorcycles in the movie Rambo 3. Ah, I see. I understand. And he's I was doing on the motorcycle. And Frankie, and look at Frankie. We kept tearing around the yeah. yard. Frankie refused to uh -huh. get on it. Uh -huh. He looked at the. He's always refused. He feels them. as though we should have grown up. He looks so serious compared to us, doesn't he? Yeah, Frankie's he? a great polo player. He. He is loves. He? Is he really? Yeah, he's wonderful. The whole family is. He's, the whole family is. Yes, your father. I mean, your. No, their father was a their, tough polo player. Your husband. Player. That's right, Frankie. Tell me about that. Do you still see him at all when he comes to town? He does. I understand. He's a nice guy. Who said that? That's what Frankie said. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> so what are you going to do about Zsa Come on, let's get back what to Zsa I don't know. You just do what you feel. What do you think, Julie? What should oh, she do? Don't get me between don't, One thing two. I don't want to do is steal the prince from her. Pardon me? One thing she doesn't have to worry. I don't want the prince. Uh -huh. you know? you don't want I don't want to steal you, him from her. You have your own. I'm sure he doesn't have skiddly Are you going with some young man right now? You have some in your life. Come on. You have that gentleman. Well, he thinks I'm, Well, he thinks he's young. Well, you have the. You, he's you a. I mean, Jack. Jack. He's cute, isn't he? Jack Repertoire. Is it? Looks like Paul Newman, doesn't His he? father owned that Repertoire restaurants in New York. Remember? And he was raised in restaurant business. Can't cook uh -huh. a thing. Really? Unbelievable. He can't cook. Can't cook. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I think it's wonderful. So you eat out a lot. You we eat do. All <laughs> he says everyone. That's a good part of it. He said everyone should eat out eight uh -huh. times a week, uh -huh. eight nights a week. So. He's a nice man. That's, yes. He is He's nice. a very nice man. Do you go out a lot? Do people recognize you when you're going out and say, oh, Everyone but Jaja. Everyone Don't but you get Jaja. tired? She's... Don't you get tired of people no. saying, Listen, after you get I love to know it. Jacqueline, no one's going to say this, Sylvester. No, no, I love Dusty it. Sly and say, well, you know, that's Jackie's son. Jackie's son. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the day that's when funny. people will say, Listen, will Sylvester, too. can you bring that's your mother tonight? Uh -huh. I think you can. She's so busy. You think we can book her in for the evening? I love your clothes. I think they're what great. Part? Who picks your clothes? I do. You do? I think they're wonderful. I really <laughs> do. You have a fashion designer at all? Certain designers? No. My girlfriend generally have fashion designers, and after they wear their clothes once uh -huh. or twice, they hand them to me. I understand you're into creams girl. and makeups and stuff like that. Well, I'm always into that. Your I'll never skin. be out of it. Uh -huh. Her skin is beautiful. Fabulous. I'm into yeah. everything. Eyelashes, makeup, you name it. I'm into Why it. Why is... Miss Stallone so busy in life, keeps herself into all these things. Well, what You're else could I do? What else should I do? I don't cook, I don't clean, I don't smart. iron. People what have I do? Their interests. They you, really do. You really don't cook? Heavens no. Ah, yeah. Marrying three Italians and don't cook, is that atrocious? Three they always cook, don't they? No, they don't. No? They expected me to cook. <laughs> they were all and Italians. The, I'm the world's worst cook.